Congratulations on the purchase of your well water filter. Its air injection filter will remove iron, sulfur, and manganese from your well water. This video will walk you through the installation process. The system will consist of the following parts. The well water filter and a jacket for its exterior, 50 feet worth of drain line, two MNPT fittings, a bypass valve, an electronic tank head, the power supply for the tank head, and a hose clamp for the drain line. The supplies recommended to complete the install will include two one inch corrugated water connectors, a one inch by three inch long PVC nipple, one roll of plumber's tape, two threaded adapters for your pre-plumb, and a one inch PVC shutoff valve. Your tank comes shipped with a jacket. To install it, simply wrap it around the tank, and then you will zip it up around the tank. Also note that the jacket can be placed after the installation has been completed. The first step in the installation is attaching the electronic head. Begin by unscrewing the cap at the top of the tank. The blue cap on the pipe inside the tank will also need to be removed. Both caps can be discarded. There is a small circular opening on the bottom of the electronic head that will align with the pipe that's inside of the tank. Once aligned, go ahead and set the electronic head onto the pipe. You will need to apply downward pressure to get the threads to catch. Thread the electronic head clockwise and continue turning it until it's fully tightened. The tank will now be rotated to gain access to the connections on the back side of the head. The bypass valve will now be attached. It has rubberized fittings that will fit into the connections on the tank head. Press the bypass valve in the position and then fully tighten both of the connectors to seat it in position. The MNPT fittings will now be connected to the other side of the bypass. They have a rubberized connector that will insert into the opening and a fastener that will also need to be fully tightened. Repeat this with both of the MNPT fittings. Apply plumber's tape to the threads on the other end of the fittings. The next step of the install will require you to tap into your pre-plumb. Please be sure that the water is turned off to the home before completing the next steps. Your goal is to install threaded adapters onto the inlet and outlet of the pre-plumb and it's also suggested that you install them so that they're pointing towards your tank. Position your tank in front of the pre-plumb with the connections facing back. Identify the connector with the incoming water supply and apply plumber's tape to the threads. The PVC shutoff valve will then be installed onto that connection. Please ensure that it's tightened as much as possible to avoid any leaks. Apply plumber's tape to the PVC nipple. It will be installed on the other side of the PVC shutoff valve. Use a wrench or a pair of pliers to fully tighten it in place. A 1 inch corrugated pipe will now be installed on the other side of the PVC nipple. Also ensure that it's fully tightened. Bend the corrugated pipe so that the connection is facing towards the inlet on the back of the electronic head. Before making the connection, be sure that you're connecting to the inlet and not the outlet of the tank. Thread the corrugated pipe onto the inlet and then fully tighten it. Apply plumber's tape to the pre-plumb that's leading into the home. A corrugated pipe will then be installed onto that connection. And once again, be sure that it's fully tightened. Bend the corrugated pipe so that the other end is facing towards the outlet on the back of the electronic head. Thread the connection and then ensure that it's fully tightened. A drain line will now be installed on the left hand side of the head. For easy insulation, it's easier to remove the compression connection by removing the blue tab that's behind the valve. From there, the valve can be pulled off. Take the hose clamp and slide it over the provided drain line. Press the barbed end of the valve onto the drain line and push it all the way in until it's fully seated. Position the hose clamp over the connection and begin to tighten it. Before fully tightening it, Make sure that it's aligned as shown here to avoid it getting in the way when you reconnect the valve. Reattach the valve with the connected drain line and be sure that it pushes in all the way. The blue lock tab will now be reinstalled 
onto the back of the valve to hold it in place. Run the drain line towards your drain and then trim away the excess. Be sure to leave yourself a little slack. Small holes and some zip ties can be used to secure the drain line into the drain to ensure it doesn't pull out. Insert a pair of zip ties into the holes as shown here. Then push them inward to create loops. The drain line will then be placed into the drain and fed through the loops. Tighten up both of the zip ties to secure the drain line in position. And to keep it neat, the excess can be trimmed away. A final mention is to ensure that your drain line is not pinched or kinked or it may cause problems. The power adapter for the electronic head can now be installed. Plug it into the power port beneath the electronic head that's furthest to the left. It is also recommended that a 9 volt battery be installed to save your settings. To do this, remove the top of the head, locate the battery connector beneath the display, and then plug a 9 volt battery into it. Rest the battery into the tray that's beneath the display, and the cover for the electronic head can be replaced. At this point, you are now ready to test your system. While the water is still turned off to the home, turn on the cold water all the way in one of the bathtubs. Ensure the shutoff valve to the system is in the off position. Also ensure that the tank is set to bypass. Turn on the water main to the home and inspect your shutoff valve for any leaks. If no leaks are detected, go ahead and open the shutoff valve to allow water to flow through the tank's bypass. Water will also begin flowing into your home. If there are no leaks coming from the bypass connections, go ahead and turn off the bypass and allow water to flow freely through the tank. Allow water to flush through your system for about 10 minutes. Also note that it's common to see a small amount of sediment during this time. The settings for the electronic head can be programmed using a smartphone. Search for Legacy View in the App Store. Once found, go ahead and install the application. Once installed, go ahead and open the app. The application would then begin scanning for the head. It's called Aeration Filter. Go ahead and select it. To set the time on the unit, go ahead and tap on that tile. A prompt will ask you if you want to set it to the same time as your device. Go ahead and select OK. The regeneration time listed on the right hand column will also need to be updated. It is recommended to select a time when nobody is using the water in the home. To change the time, simply tap on that tile. A prompt will come up to allow you to change the time. In most circumstances, 2 a.m. should work perfectly. The filter backwash frequency on the lower right-hand column will need to be updated. Go ahead and tap on that tile. On the screen that comes up, you will select 5 days. Then select OK. For the next settings, select the menu icon in the top left corner. Select the Advanced Settings option. The error charge frequency in the upper left hand side should be set to one day. If not, go ahead and select it. Go ahead and set it to one day and then select OK. On the right column, the backwash time should be set to 10 minutes. If necessary, update it and then select OK. On the left column, the option that says rest should be set to zero. If not, go ahead and correct that field. Air draw on the right hand side should be set to 20 minutes. If not, select it and update it. On the bottom left column, rapid rinse should be set to 5 minutes. If not, go ahead and update it. Your system can now be regenerated. Hit the menu icon in the upper left hand corner. Please note that the water regeneration will take about 45 minutes. During this time, you will not be able to use water to your home. Once you're ready, go ahead and select Regenerate Now from the menu. Confirm the regeneration and it will run for about 45 minutes. Congratulations, the installation is now complete.